Alright, so today I'm just going to show you my workflow for 3D scanning and then processing that 3D scan using the 3D scanner that is on your iPad or iPhone that has Face ID. So first we're just going to hop into the App Store and you're going to search up Capture Scan and then going to click on the one that's Capture colon 3D Scan Anything. It's got a purple icon. Download that. I already did open see my beautiful mug uh, and then you're just going to make it full screen for your viewing pleasure and then I'm just going to 3d scan my face relatively quickly I mean not quick movements but you'll see Alright, I can kind of evaluate, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's not very easy to get your whole head, but since we're just trying to get the face, this will do nicely. So then we're going to hit save, go into our collection and click on the one we just made. And now the way that I like getting it to my computer is uploading it to my drive. So share, drive, select folder, my drive, save here upload. Alright, now it is on my drive, so let's switch over to the computer and process it. Okay, so here we have our scan.usdz file already downloaded. I downloaded it ahead of time because I didn't want to show the world my drive. So here it is right over here, and the first thing we're going to do is change usdz into obj. OBJ is just a lot nicer to work with, so let's get to that. So we're just going to search up OB, uh, USDZ OBJ Converter. Uh, click on the first one that comes up, and we're just going to drag and drop that in there, and convert now. And there it is, let's download that. Downloading, 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 and done. Okay, so now that we have our scan.obj, we're just going to open that up in Blender, default cube already deleted, and we're going to import the obj from our downloads, scan.obj, give it some loading time, and there it is. So if you zoom in, the uh, more astute of you will notice that it's just made up of a whole lot of faces, which is not ideal if you're trying to uh, a whole bunch of disconnected faces which isn't ideal if you're trying to do pretty much anything with a 3d model it looks a little bit like that one scene from the avengers where they're just disappearing so what, what i'm going to do is first remesh it in blender and then i'm going to use another program called instant meshes to make that mesh even better so before i put it into before I remesh it, I'm just going to enlarge all of these little faces so that they have a little bit more overlap. So go into edit mode, everything's selected, and we're going to scale up by 1.5. Oh, oops, almost made a blunder there. We're going to change it to individual origins, and then we're going to scale it up by 1.5. Enter, and then you wait a little bit as your computer struggles because of how many vertexes there are. And it is not responding. Hey, we're back. It, uh, it finally decided to respond, and as you can tell, it's a lot denser and more of what we're looking at, looking for. So we're going to hop out of edit mode, and we're going to go into the modifiers section and add a remesh modifier. Now there are a whole bunch of different sections or uh, options that you can play with. So you know if you're feeling more Minecrafty, you can use uh, blocks. But I'm going for realism, and hopefully I will be able to use this model in the future to make uh, custom props and stuff that are connected to my face. 
So we're going to go to smooth, which is the uh, most accurate one so far that I figured out. And we're just going to keep turning up the level until it starts getting really funky. And now we're going to tone it back a little. Uh, scale, I want 0 0.99. That is just a joke. I actually want 0 0.9 clearly. Thank you for correcting me, Blender. And as you can see, it's actually a solid model now, as opposed to whole, just a whole bunch of triangles. So we're going to apply that. And before I export it to go into instant meshes, let's just take a look at all of these just absolutely crunchy geometry. This is not ideal if you're wanting to do anything with this mesh. So take a, take a good look. This is before and uh, let's get to that after. So let's export that. And can you guess what format? That's right, OBJ. It's going to export that into downloads, OBJ. And we're going to call it scan pre. And we're going to export it. And now we're going to hop into instant meshes. Full screen. And we're going to open up that freshly made OBJ which with this uh, shiny material, we can really see all of the errors. But don't worry, they'll be gone soon. So Instant Meshes has a whole bunch of different uh, settings that you can play around with, but all you really need to know is solve, solve, export mesh. So I'm going to turn up vertex count a little bit because I want it to be uh, a little bit more high def than what it wants it to be. So we're we'll just uh, ignore the warning and solve, solve, extract mesh and there we go you could stop right there and that would be a much nicer mesh than what you started with let's uh let's go back comparison again before after huge difference but it can get even better so instant mesh has a combing tool so I can go back to this this stage of it i would like to have straight across my forehead, straight line to my nose, and a nice smile. And now, as you can see, all these different colored lines have changed around a little bit. But what this is basically doing is I'm helping Instant Mesh understand what I want. So turn off the comb tool, solve for this kind of preview stage, and then we're going to, you guessed it, extract mesh. And as you can see, this is even better than our first one because it's more horizontal to the forehead and it's just a little bit closer to what I wanted. So with this mesh, you can do whatever you want. So you could use it for animation or I'm most likely to use it for 3D printing and just uh, all around fun. But uh, that's my process. I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, you know, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it and uh, subscribe if you want more hopefully decent content. All right, catch you in the next video.